I'm going to turn to Senator Johnson. So, Commandant Fagan, when were you first made aware of Operation Fouled Anchor? I, I knew of the term fouled anchor when uh, I uh, was initially in the building as a two-star and uh, knew uh, formally of it in the fall of 2018 when the Leadership Council was briefed with regard to the ongoing uh, effort. It was still in the early stages of fouled anchor when that, when that brief was provided. So we did get an email uh, from uh, uh, Michael Burkow, the then director of the Coast Guard's Investigative Service, uh, really talking to you about somebody under your command. Mm -hmm. So my guess is over a five-year investigation, you're, you're investigating individual members of the Coast Guard, having to contact their com commanding officers. So I, I would think the knowledge that there was some, an investigation going on, maybe not knowing what it was called, was fairly well known throughout the service? I do not believe it was widely known. I say I knew the term, and then as the Pacific Area Commander, one of the O5s of a medium endurance cutter under my command, uh, the CGIS Investigative Services was ready to interview him in conjunction with a fouled anchor case, and I became involved to temporarily, temporarily relieve him and bring a relief CO in. I do not know the details of the allegation against the, the individual. I was more focused on keeping that ship operationally ready and providing a relief CO. So, so that was probably more of an aberration where you had somebody in command of a ship or something that you had to be concerned about whether you had continuity command if something had to happen or? It, it was part of the investigative process. We needed to make him available. And then I needed to ensure that I had a commanding officer with clarity and, and you know operational intent. And so we, we brought in a temporary CO as the investigation uh, moved forward with regard to the individual. But, but the Coast Guard does have its own investigatory services, correct? We do. So, so why is it you're relying on the Office of Inspector General? So Coast Guard Investigative Services did the investigations with regard to fouled anchor. When it was announced that this would be subject to an Office of Inspector General, we're now relying on the Office of Inspector General. My CGIS director, though, regularly interacts with the IG because I do have an obligation to continue to investigate new reports of sexual assault, and particularly when they involve active duty members, and we've got an excellent deconfliction process in place between the IG and CGIS so that we can continue to investigate sexual assaults if they're reported. Have you been interviewed by the Inspector General? I have not. Okay, but, okay, but, you, but re, you're again relying on that Inspector General to investigate I get, what, the cover-up of uh, Operation Fouled Anchor? The IG is looking into Fouled Anchor, the totality of it, including you know, senior leader action or inaction, and I'm fully cooperating with that. Okay. I, I have no further questions. I do know that uh, Senator Hawley was going to show up at uh, 445, so. He's on his way, but uh, while we're waiting, I do have uh, some additional questions.